Hey, and welcome to our DIY flat pack build series. This is STM 20-240. Okay, now this build features Styro RV RG Plus wall panels, both side walls, rear wall with door, and of course the roof and front wall is one piece, and the floor we're using HD 300, which is our high density styrene. Okay, so first up is the floor panel. All right, it's 2.4 meters long, 1.45 meters wide, and it's tipping the scales at 24 kilos. So do the math there, it comes out at 7.36 kilo per square meter. So that's a little heavier than our wall material. Our wall material comes in at 7.06, so it's, uh, it's only a few hundred grams, but um, that's due to the uh, extra density in the floor styrene. Okay, armed with a couple of rolls of our styro tape by Henkel, our uh, 100 mile an hour race tape, let's do a dry assembly of this body. Okay, all right. Now, we've got all the walls up, so we're just about to drop the roof and the front wall on. So I just wanna show you something here. So we've also got Styro Conduit single in the walls, coming from the bottom right up to the top. Now, what we've done up here, we've actually, uh, we've notched this roof panel out a little bit, uh, just so to help you get the wire, feed the wire up the wall and across and down to the other side. Okay, there it is, it's all together. How good does that look? 2.4 meters long, 1.45 meters wide, 1.2 meters high. So I think that's a real nice, smart shape. Of course, the, uh, the rear door is gonna hinge up, probably be the kitchen at the back. Right, so the burning question is with everyone, what does it weigh? Well, being so small, I put all these uh, panels up on the scales before we started. And I can tell you that the passenger side wall at the moment weighs 15 kilo. Driver side wall, which is a mirror of the passenger side, it weighs 15 kilo. Rear wall and the door, that came in at 11. The roof and front wall, that's tipped the scales at 34 kilo. And of course the floor that we spoke about earlier, that weighs 24 kilo. So you add all those together and they come in at 99 kilos. So yeah, that's not bad. That's uh, two mil glass inside and outside, so it's a good strong uh, panel, a good strong sandwich panel. So at 99 kilos, that's uh, not much heavier than me. Okay guys, now that this is assembled, we can talk about our accessories. It's not a big build, so the customer has opted for very few accessories. A teardrop door and a window for both the passenger side and the driver's side. For this particular build, they've opted for the new style of Aussie Traveller teardrop doors. There are 622 by 900 all black door. For this particular build, we've got a left and a right hand hinge door. Each side wall will also feature a 300 by 500 Eurovision window by Aussie Traveller. During dry assembly, John pointed out some conduit that we've got going through the roof. This is to facilitate the 12 volt Thule vent. Due to the radius roof on this particular build, the customer has opted to use Styrotrim RV, which is the pliable aluminium extrusion. Because this customer has opted for such a large rear opening, we've recommended that they use Styrotrim RG on the rear. This 50 by 50 anodized trim will allow the arrow to be reinforced, allowing that door to open up without a problem. This rear door will be trimmed with our ever popular Styroseal LT. This is a four part system you can check out one of our excellent videos, Styro Chats on Styro Seal LT on our YouTube channel. The customer will hinge this rear door from the top. They will be using our Styro Hinge Continuous, which is our new 2.4 meter long stainless steel pre-punched continuous hinge. To finish off this door, the customer has opted to use a Styro Lock Medium. One of the benefits of selecting a lock from the Styromax range is that your door will actually become pre-cut, ready to receive this locking mechanism. This customer wanted to opt for a black and white theme for their build. They selected black Aussie Traveller teardrop doors, black Eurovision windows, 
But of course, for the Starry Seal LT, which comes in white, and the Starry Trim RG, which comes in anodized, we actually sent that out for the customer so that it was powder coated in the same matching black. And of course, to complement it all, Starry Trim RV actually comes off the shelf as a black option. One of the frequently asked questions we have is how much glue do I need? That depends obviously on the size of your build. We do have a consumption guide available on our website as well. This particular customer has actually done the calculations and worked out how much glue they need. So don't forget to add it to your order. Okay guys, well there you go. This is STM 20-240, a cute little square back camper and so easy to put together, even a husband and wife like us could do it. So if you'd like to know any more information, you can hit us up on the website or check out our Facebook page as well.